I have served on the Youth Workforce Development Committee. Our area uh, has been coal driven for decades, over a century, and has provided great job opportunities, provided energy, provided tax dollars for a number of years. But we certainly in recent years have seen the decline of the coal industry. Many of our citizens, our students when they graduate, have to leave to find employment opportunities. And so we are trying to diversify the economy here. What would that look like? Amazon's not going to drop a huge distribution center here in Wise County. Today, Secure Solar Futures has introduced a wraparound model for this region to bridge the gap between employers and employees that has not existed before. The community-based demand-pull approach creates both the labor force and the sustainable demand for their skills. Now, there's a solar project pipeline for new jobs that allows students to earn while learning. The result is community savings and solar careers built from within. We were invited to come to this region by the Solar Work Group. We spent six months to a year getting a law changed to make solar power purchase agreements legal in this region for schools. And when Secure Futures answered the RFQ for the Solar Work Group of Southwest Virginia, they knew they had it right. Our demand pool model with developing the projects and then develop, developing the workforce through the community colleges. A lot of my family has uh, been in the coal industry for years. Such a prevalence here that I actually have my underground mining papers um, and decided not to go. We didn't want to helicopter in a bunch of installers and then have them helicopter out and leave no value in the community in terms of long-term jobs. So we reached out and uh, entered into uh, an amazing partnership with Mountain Empire Community College. And it wasn't just about getting solar on rooftops and being able to connect to the grid. It was, it was about creating the workforce that can be sustainable here, that we can continue to grow solar and, and still be the energy capital of the world, just with resources beyond coal. The Secure Futures model really gave us the opportunity through the Solar Apprentice Program to entice them and show them, here's, here's the wage you can be earning, now let us show you the industry. My papa was a coal miner, and I had a couple buddies that were had their dads and grandpas were coal miners, so I've known quite a bit of coal miners over the years. Well, I was taking electrical classes at the Lee Career and Technical Center in Lee County and heard about the apprenticeship program with Secure Futures and everything. It just really got me interested. You know, you get to work local, so I didn't have to drive far, so it was just a really good opportunity, I believe, for everybody, really, to just learn and make some good money while doing it. So through our, our partnership or collaborative partnership with Secure Futures, they open up some doors for us to engage with the local workforce, uh, a workforce development program that they spearheaded and then collaboratively with us allowed us to hire these apprentices on as direct got electric employees, several of which we've actually kept on as permanent employees here. Over the life of the program, our expectation is that we will realize $7.5 million in energy savings. The fact that we've got these educational programs and being able to put our students to work, it's a win-win-win. We were successful in developing the first solar apprenticeship program in the state. We hope to replicate this model and adapt it to other communities, transforming what has traditionally been an extractive economy to a generative economy. They can see what the job will look like when they're done, and they can see themselves working with a business that is in the industry, and they can see a future in that industry when they're finished.